thank the Lord uh, for being here. We had just a little bit of technical difficulties, uh, but we're uh, in the house and glad to be here. Amen. Uh, Philippians 4 and 19, uh, we're going to get into, uh, and, and it's just a theme, it's not the text, because a lot of uh, this is going to be our discussion. So I encourage you in this series, uh, we'll have a series of study on this, so we won't get it all done tonight, but we'll talk on it, uh, and uh, and uh, I want you, especially those of you that are watching on the live, even if you're not watching it live, I, I want you to comment. It's very important that you comment and share in this conversation. Uh, this is a judgment-free zone, so whatever you have to say is appreciated, and, uh, and we want that participation. Uh, our theme that we're on now is meeting my needs. Meeting my needs. Somebody say mine. Mine. Uh, this is unusual Christian conversation because uh, most of the time we're talking about being self-sacrificing, right? Mm -hmm. It's always about everybody else. Mm -hmm. It's always a, a, a do unto others and, and all of those types of things. But there is a degree of uh, mental health and balance uh, that the believer needs to have where you are able to understand are your needs being met. Yeah. Now, Philippians says in 4 and 19 in the B portion that my God shall supply all of my needs. Yes. It didn't say that my God shall supply my spiritual needs only. Mm -hmm. It didn't say he will supply my financial needs only. Okay. He didn't just say he would feed me, even though he will. Mm -hmm. But what the, what the lesson said is that he will supply how many of my needs? Oh. Oh. Uh, and, and it's not limited to me, but it's limited to him. It's limited to what he has, and whatever it is that he has access to. So what I want us to consider, if you will, in our discussion here, is where are we not having our needs met? Mm. Where are we not having our needs met and why? If you're taking notes, you should, you should be right down. Where, where are you not having your needs met? So if, if in your life uh, you're experiencing financial lack, you know, I, God knows I need X, Y, Z, but I'm not getting enough money. Uh, my bills are not paid. Uh, I, I'm struggling. You know, say I'm on the struggle bus. Okay. If, if I'm struggling financially and God is not meeting my needs and my needs in general are not being met, mm -hmm. there is a why. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if we don't understand the why, then struggle becomes our way of life. Mm -hmm. It does not become God's plan I'm talking slow because mm -hmm. I want some of this to saturate a little bit. Thank you. It doesn't become God's plan. It becomes the consequence of the why. Mm -hmm. If I have a, a drinking problem and uh, I, I drink up my whole check. Mm -hmm. So when I get paid, I just go drink, 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 and, and then I'm broke, and I wait until I get paid again, right? And then I go drink, 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 drink. Why? Why are my needs not being met? Because I'm drinking, drinking. Because I have drinking problems, right? <laughs> yeah, drinking problems. If I stop drinking, mm -hmm. a substantial number of my needs would automatically be met. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And, and we can see that it's very obvious when we're talking about drinking problems, mm -hmm. a gambling problems, mm -hmm. drug problems. Mm -hmm. Maybe I have an eating problem. Mm -hmm. Maybe my problem is I eat too much. Mm -hmm. Maybe I have a shopping problem. Yeah. You, you, you might even have a giving problem. Yeah. Can be a problem. And I don't mean a, a giving unto God and, and press down, shake it together. Yeah. I mean, you just give away everything. Mm -hmm. And you're just not a good steward over what God has given you. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen. Uh, the, the common denominator is in your life for that need, there is a why. And possibly we haven't examined the why. Mm. Mm -hmm. Are y'all with me? Yes. Right. Yeah. Y'all, y'all understand my example? Mm -hmm. yeah. We got a money problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have a money need that's not being met. Mm -hmm. We don't know why. Mm. Mm. Figure out why mm -hmm. we can fix the problem. Right. Excuse me. Is that right? Mm -hmm. We can fix the problem if we figure out why. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's use, let's call that a formula mm -hmm. for you algebra people. Mm -hmm. A plus B equals C. Mm -hmm. So if the formula is I have a need, there is a Y that is not being fulfilled, and that equals mm -hmm. my, my Dilemma. Yeah. Now let's look at your situation. And sometimes those needs are a lot more sensitive than just how you're going to pay the rent. Mm -hmm. There are some of us, and I don't know, I might even include myself in, that, in this one, but some of us have an emotional need. Yeah. You you may need a degree of emotional support. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. And you feel a deficiency there. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't feel loved. Mm -hmm. You don't feel cared for. Mm -hmm. You don't feel supported. Yeah. Uh, or, or all of those things like that. Mm -hmm. And and you frustrate. I don't even mind if you say amen. If, if, this, if this hits you, I don't even mind with that. Amen. You, you, you frustrate me because uh, nobody's there for me type of a thing. I'm there for everybody. But when is somebody going to be there for me? Right? And so th therein is your need that's unmet. There's an unmet need. Now, why is that need not being met? Mm. Yes. Some of you all have said, "Amen." Uh -huh. uh, we got we we got emotional support needs. Mm -hmm. Why is it not being met? What's wrong? I'm not looking for the deep answer. I'm just looking for what you feel. What's wrong? Why are we not very well emotionally supported? The absence of the support system. Mm -hmm. We don't. We don't have people, or the people that we have aren't sufficient, right. or they or they don't show up. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? You could be just alone. I just like like she said. We just don't have no people. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just kind of alone in this here world. Right. And sometimes people just don't care like you. People don't care like you. That's good. That's yeah, good. That is. That's yeah. good. But they do care to get what you got. <laughs> but they don't care to be there you for you. You need what they got. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're not there for you. Right. Right. Uh, what are, what yeah. are some what are some other ones? Selfish. Uh you're selfish or they're selfish? They are selfish. I can be selfish too, I guess. Okay. But they're they're selfish with their, their time, their money. They want 
what do they what do, uh, they uh, they come and get everything you got but won't a leech leech huh yeah. You're giving a different answer. You're not saying what she's saying. She's saying leech. She said leech. Right. Kind of leechy. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> leechy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. They're, they're leechy. They want to suck everything away from you. Yeah. They just want to mooch off of you. Right. Uh huh. What'd you say about the resources? No, I was just saying that there ain't no that. Well, that's, that's true. Okay. Sometimes we just don't take good advice. They don't, they, you don't or they don't. Don't tell them. <laughs> don't. Oh, we okay. don't. They don't. You know. And that's why you're not emotionally supportive. Sometimes we're not realistic. Not realistic. You, have, you have unrealistic expectations of the other person. That, that's excellent. Those are all things. You know what I think is very interesting is as we're throwing out these possibilities and, and situations, none of them are related to God. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't say mine. Well, I, I tried was, to get you to. I know. You just tried to cheat and say it now. I'm going to tell you what you were going to say. Go ahead. I was going to say we don't like look forward to God as being those things in our lives. You know, um, we, we tend to, you know, expect thing, you know, people to do what God should do, uh, or, or, or not should do, but what we need God to do in our lives, uh -huh. being drawn closer to Him. You, you're so perfect. You're so perfect. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, so that's why you the church mother. You, you good. Um, the scripture said, my God shall supply 65% of my needs. Uh -huh. And, uh, and the other 35%, I'm going to get somewhere else. You all got to be careful. You got to be really careful of what you're trying to tell me today. Because I don't know for sure if you're trying to tell me what you're saying. Can you monitor the live and make sure nobody asks a question for me, uh, Tessa? Uh, uh, I want to make sure that, that you want to own what you're saying. Okay. Because you, you're telling me. That God is going to supply all of your needs. But but when you talked about it, you talked about what you didn't get from everybody else but God. Right. Yeah. right. And the, what the, say that again. Come on with it. Question. No, say that again. No, I have a question. Oh. It's not a question. It says the people that we have the need from are emotionally needy also. Oh, they're needy also because because they're not God. Mm -hmm. And we are emotionally, physically, and spiritually broke. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So the blind is leading the blind. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. But the, but the thing is, your testimony is that my God shall supply yes. right. Right. all of my needs. Right. But but the people, even in, in even in those, thank you for those comments. Even in that, what we're doing is we're saying the people that we need it from are broken. Mm -hmm. The people that we need it from are needy too. Mm -hmm. But God is going to supply. That's why we should. Oh. So if God is if God is the supplier, mm -hmm. then then why is it that we're feeling lack from someone who never offered to supply us? Right? Um. Sometimes we don't even ask God. We don't even, we're not even looking yes, for God to yes, do it. Just like sometimes we don't ask those around us, they don't know, not to say that God doesn't know, but those around us, they don't know they're not my readers. And God may know, God knows and I don't make, God does know what we need, but he's just waiting for us to open up our mouths and ask. And, 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 yes. <laughs> and I was going to say about the people that are around us, but the people that are around us shall not supply all of our needs. No, they That's right. right. Our, our, so, so one of the... I just said they can't. Uh, one of the problems that we have is that, I'll go back to what Juanita said, unrealistic expectations mm -hmm. is because we want to find people 
that we can put in the place of supplier in our lives. Mm -hmm. And we want to be able to depend on them. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what kind of need it is, financial, emotional, spiritual, you know, the reason why uh, I'm sinning is because the pastor is no good. You know, I, I've heard people say that, that the reason why they, they are spiritually uh, struggling is because they have a church and the, and the pastor's no good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I've heard that. Yeah, so the, so the reason why you in sin <laughs> is because the pastor, the pastor is so bad that he made you sin. Yeah. <laughs> And you God, 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 the Father, the Holy Spirit, all the angels, nobody can stop you from sinning <laughs> because your pastor is so terrible. <laughs> okay. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. The, the, the Bible that you have, your own prayer life, the Sunday school lesson, the sermon that you heard on YouTube, nothing else was able to sustain you. <laughs> Because your church is so terrible. Mm -hmm. wow. It's it's unreasonable expectations. Mm -hmm. Because because partially the reason why the church is terrible is because they just like you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're dependent on man to be spiritual. Mm -hmm. I can't make you holy. No. Mm -hmm. I can't hardly make people pay tithes. <laughs> <laughs> Let alone live right. I mean, you know what I'm trying to say? I can't even get people to come. Half people didn't even come to Bible study. I, you know, how am I controlling <laughs> your spiritual success? Right. When I can't even make you come to church on Sunday. Right. I don't make you pray. No. I, I, I can't get you to fast. Apostle can't get you to fast. She put together a whole big book and stuff for you to read. You don't read it. No. <laughs> You know what I'm trying to say? Yes. You got all of the all of wealth of resources right here on your phone. You, don't, you ain't on them. But the reason why your spiritual life is in shambles is because somebody has not supplied your meat. And, and then you said that so excellently when you say we have unre unreasonable expectations. Exactly. Sometimes we accept others unreasonable expectations of us. And that causes us to be at a deficiency. Oh, sure, I'll say it again. I don't have no problem. Uh, sometimes we accept others' unreasonable expectations of us. And that causes us to be at a deficiency. There was a parable. Uh, I got to quote scriptures that y'all say I'm not very spiritual. Then you'll say I'm the reason why you're sinning. All right. Uh, there's a parable of, that was a joke. All right. <laughs> the parable of the ten virgins. You all know that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and these five virgins over here, they had oil in their land. Right. But these virgins over here, they didn't have no oil because they out, out playing. Right? Mm -hmm. And then when the, when the bridegroom come, the ones over here say, give us some of your oil. Mm -hmm. Right? Supply our need. Mm -hmm. And what did the oil sister say? Uh huh. You can't have my oil. Right. Because you mess around and make me run out of oil. <laughs> exactly. And I ain't got what I need because I'm giving my supply to you. Mm -hmm. Right? What that was an unreasonable expectation because you could have got oil. Right. But you didn't you didn't want to go get your oil, you want to use my oil. Mm -hmm. Well, some of us are trying to fill everybody else's oil tank up. And then we're struggling with why is my oil low? Mm. Because you have supplied all of their needs. Mm -hmm. According to your riches. <laughs> yeah, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let the internet say amen. 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 The light bulb say amen. <laughs> amen. You, you you create you create a deficit in your own life, mm -hmm. and you get it with the oil. But what about somebody's emotional stability? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen? And I hope I don't I don't want to speak to somebody else's experience. But I I had a friend that committed suicide, mm -hmm. and it's horrible. We were teenagers. 
you know. But for a period of time, I was asking myself, what could I do? Mm -hmm. Why why wasn't I there? You see what I'm saying? Guess what? I could have been right there hugging him. Okay. And it, it, it doesn't necessarily make me sufficient because I'm not the supply. You mean instant. It doesn't make me sufficient. I am insufficient. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make me sufficient because I'm not the supply. Mm -hmm. okay. Who is the supply? God is the supply. If he's going to get peace, he's going to get it from God. Amen. Now, I can be a resource. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can be used by God. Mm -hmm. I, I, can, I can bless people, speak to people, encourage people, so and so. But it doesn't yes. become my responsibility mm -hmm. to sustain them. Do you see the difference? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, we should all uh, speak a kind word, encourage one another. Yes. That's all in the book. Yes. Right? But it's not my responsibility to so so why did why did Judas fail? Mm. Why wasn't why wasn't Peter good enough? Mm. Seemed like they, they should have been spiritual enough uh, that John should have recognized that Judas was going through something. And he should have encouraged, he should have taken Peter off and prayed with him. I mean, uh, Judas off and paid, prayed with him, right? Right. I mean, we talking about the 12. Right. Hmm. Bad, better question. Why wasn't Jesus enough for Judas? He knew. Hmm. Jesus couldn't keep Judas right. Hmm. He right there with him every day. He couldn't keep Judas' mind right. And at the end of the day, mm -hmm. Judas didn't have enough mental, emotional stability to mm -hmm. not kill himself. Mm -hmm. Having been with Jesus for three years. Ooh. And James, and John, and Peter, and, Peter. and mm -hmm. all of them. All of them brothers. So now here you come, <coughs> and you better than Peter. You better than John. Hello. You see the pressure. You see the pressure that you put on you, Pastor. Do you see the pressure that they won't put on us? Amen. They want us to do what Peter couldn't do. Yeah. Yeah. Can't do it. What Jesus couldn't do. That's why you stress. You trying to figure out how to get them to do right. Mm -hmm. Jesus too. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He died for them to do right. <laughs> and they still, you know what I'm saying? Right. Amen. So, so when I recognize, when I recognize that the supplier is God. Amen. Amen. He may or may not use me as a resource. That's right. Amen. He has the ability to use me because he's Lord. He can tell me to give my last little bit of meal. Mm -hmm. He can tell me to give my last little bit of oil. He can tell me to put my last two pence in the bucket. Mm -hmm. He can do whatever he wants to do because he's Lord. Mm -hmm. That's not the same as me doing it. Mm -hmm. When I try to make myself the supplier well, okay. of some people. Let, let, let's go here. Where are my parents at in the room? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Where you at, parents? Amen. Amen. Say amen, parents. Amen. Grandparents included. Amen. amen. All right. We gonna make sure our baby is all right. Amen. Ain't we gonna do it? Amen. They, they not gonna ever cry. They not gonna ever hurt. Right. They not gonna ever come up short. Right. Because we shall supply. Yeah. They need all of their needs. Right. And and we wondering why we got high pressure, low sugars. Uh, you know, all kinds of conditions and everything else, mm -hmm. but we're going to do that and make sure our baby is all right. Mm -hmm. Because we trust God. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 We do. Amen. I got to call, you got to call me, 
It's been two hours. You ain't called me yet. Now what's going on? Yeah. Like, Amen. You see what I mean? Because because we are trying to keep tax on everything. Mm -hmm. We're not loving. Mm. This is not just love. This is control. Amen. It is. Don't y'all run out of amen. <laughs> this, is really. this, this is not love. This is control. Amen. This is this is keeping everything in a comfort zone. Mm -hmm. right. I'm comfortable <laughs> with it being like this. Mm -hmm. I'm not comfortable. Some folks, their kids can't go out of state. Right. Right. Because they, they too far away. Too mm -hmm. far away from who? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey. Yes, I can't get to them. And when you get to them, then what's gonna happen? <laughs> but this is this is what we feel comfortable yeah, with, right? right? You know, I, I need to be able to. Uh, that's too far. I can't. I, I can't even get a plane. That you know, I, I can't afford to be flying. And, and what if they don't have no food? Mm -hmm. You see, cash out. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to look at. Them. Right? Amen. You, need, you need to touch it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. Some of y'all, your children lose yeah, two pounds. You say, boy, you looking poor. You know? <laughs> Are you eating over there? Are you y'all got food? Yeah. I told my grandmother one day, I told my grandmother, upset her so bad. I called her, I said, Grandma, we ain't got nothing to eat. Mm. <laughs> Oh, wow. uh, she said, what, baby? She said, yeah, I, Grandma, we ain't got nothing to eat over here, and I'm hungry. And, and boy, shucks. My grandma was at the grocery store. She went over there and bought bags and bags of groceries. <laughs> Come over there to the house. I almost didn't have room to put the stuff up. Because <laughs> there's stuff in there. When you a teenager and you say, we don't have nothing to eat, what does that mean? Don't have what I want. Right. 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 That's what that means. Right. Don't have. It's plenty of food. Right. I just, just want want food. I just wanted this. <laughs> and this wasn't in there. And, and she <laughs> went and done. And my mama came home. Mama, what are you doing? This child and called me. Said you ain't got no food. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> Why you didn't tell me? Mama oh. said we got plenty of food. What is you talking? Oh, well, he told me what no food over here. <laughs> Wasn't no second time on that one. I <laughs> she, she said, whatever's in there, you eat it. You're going to be all right. <laughs> but what? She, she was so concerned. Secretly, without even saying it, she, she had all of these thoughts that my child is out here struggling and she got this baby. And she can't take care of them. Mm -hmm. And then her husband ain't no good. And it, you know what I'm trying to say? And I got to run over here and make sure my baby is all right. Like, yeah. like her baby ain't got sense enough mm -hmm. to get the food. You see what I'm trying to say? Yes. And, and I'm going I'm to find something to eat. Yeah. But I'm, I'm just got teenage disease. Mm -hmm. right? right? And I think the world is, is my own little personal menu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm trying to say? I don't want cheese with it. Don't have cheese, I don't want that. Right. We don't have food, Grandma. No, we don't have cheese. <laughs> you, you eat it without the cheese and live. And not die. Yeah, that's right. You have food but, Yes, ma'am. What you just said, it just kind of came to me that how you said it's not that they, you all didn't have what you wanted. You all didn't have cheese. Right. But you didn't say that. So right. sometimes we're not even clear on telling God exactly what it is. We'll say something in general, but right. we're not mm -hmm. actually specific mm -hmm. on what it is that right. we, we ask a mission. What we're asking for. Yeah, when we ask. Mm -hmm. We ask a mission. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> but but guess what? Right. The same God that supplies all of your needs mm -hmm. knows all of your needs. Yes, right. he does. Yes, he does. Amen. Amen. He, he knows. Uh, Amen. Consider the sparrow. He neither sows nor reaps. Right, right, right. Yet the Father feeds him. Yeah. Right. That, that's, that's, I read that somewhere. It's that. You know what I'm it's saying? Too. So, so if the sparrow uh, gets fed, how much more precious are you than, than a whole bunch of sparrows? That's right. That's right. That's right. So that's why he said, take no thought for what you're going to eat Amen. or what you're going to drink. Right. Why? Because the Father knows. 
If the father knows you have need to eat, does he know that you have need of these other things? Amen. Amen. Yes. Does he know you have the emotional needs? Yes. Does he know, yes. why, uh, okay, let's go deep because we ain't got a whole lot of time, but, but we're going to start it. Does he know you have physical needs? Yes, he knows everything. Yes. Oh yeah. Lord! <laughs> what the internet say now, my nigga? What it say? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Does he? Does he know? Does he? Does he care? Is he aware? So, so if you have them, yes, yes, you have these needs, and Leroy shall supply. Oh, yeah, he will. Yeah, yeah, he will. <laughs> all you gotta do is call Leroy. He will be happy to supply all of your physical needs. Or Lucy, Lucy too, right? And so what happens is we begin to seek Leroy. Mm -hmm. Seek ye first Leroy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and all of these things shall be added unto you. So and I'm preaching good. We come to church. Seeking a Leroy. Right. Mm. Lord, I've been in church for three years now. And ain't no Leroy been here yet. <laughs> Where is my Lucy? Yeah. Let me let me tell them why I said what when they say they sound spiritual. Where's my Boaz? <laughs> Your Boaz is with Ruth. That's where he is. <laughs> he is with Ruth. You need to get your hips down there on the altar and get your Jesus. Because he will supply all your needs, won't he do it? Is he doing yes. it? But the problem is we're not asking right. Because we came looking for Leroy, we came looking for Lucy, and we didn't get the supplier. So we missed out. Our supply chain was in a totally different place. Preachers, sometimes we sabotage that because we teach people. That way. That's that's what we're enticing you with. Give your life back to the Lord and he's going to give you a good Leroy. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> you see what I'm trying to say? If you do that. Y'all know we do it. You know we do it. We set those expectations. It could be a job. It could be it could be a, a new house. It could be a new car. All you got to do is just make a deal with God. Come on, Come on back to church. Pay your tithes. Yeah. And then God is going to do all of that stuff. So we make God transactional. No. Mm. And God is not transactional. God is in covenant with you. Yeah. He, he doesn't supply your needs because you're good. Thank you for that amen. I appreciate it. He doesn't supply your needs because you're a better sparrow than the other sparrows. Right. He, he supplies your needs because he's the supplier of yes. needs. Yes, he is. Because he's faithful. Because yes. yes. he's God. Yes. When the children of Israel were in the wilderness, God fed them. Yes, he, did. He, he fed them manna every day. He told, don't even save this. That's right. Don't keep leftovers. That's right. You don't even need leftover manna because tomorrow I'm going to send you more manna. Yeah. Now that's, that's good preaching, right? Yeah. It's good that God has sent manna every day. Here's the, here's the catch. These were to the children of disobedience. Yeah. 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 The people that was in the wilderness was there on punishment. That's yeah. right. That's right. You was out of the will of God. And he was giving you manna every day. Every day. Every day. Faithfully. When the water ran dry, he slapped a rock. Water came out of That's how he is about supplying needs. Don't worry about what the river is doing. I got rocks. I got rocks that'll quench your thirst. Give me a stick. And, and we'll, we'll whoop this rock until it, you know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. uh, so I get so good, you don't even have to slap the rock, I'll speak to the rock. Yeah, right. Right. Yes. And Amen. water will come out. Yes. That's how he does that supplying your needs. Mm -hmm. but, 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 but this is not because of how good we are. <laughs> this is because of how good he is. Yes. Amen. But, but we have made it a condition of our goodness which makes it transactional, which makes us unstable mm. because we're trying to persuade God to be God. Mm. Okay. 
We're trying to coerce him into being faithful. Mm -hmm. Lord, Lord. When it's his nature. Mm -hmm. Okay, God, now I'm going I'm going to give my offering every Sunday. Mm -hmm. But you know I'm depending on you to mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is not this is not the kind of relationship God has. When when you do that, you cheapen him. Mm -hmm. You cheapen him. Well, Pastor Cannon, what about tithing? Tithing is a part of your covenant with him. Yes. So yes, you should tithe. Yes. Guess what? Guess what? One thing, Candace, guess what you can't do? Mm. You can't tithe out of lack. Oh, Lord Jesus. Go ahead, ask me. What I mean? Say that. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? So, okay, good. Yeah, thank you for asking. You can't tithe out of lack. Because tithe is 10% of your increase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can't tithe until God gives you something. All right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You, you're only tithing after yeah. God has supplied the need. Yeah. Yeah. No. Amen. 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 So it's crazy for you to say, I don't have enough to tithe. Mm -hmm. Because you didn't have anything <laughs> until God supplied the need, and then you're giving out of what God gave. Amen. It's you thinking that you're supplying the need. I worked, <laughs> and I got paid because I worked. Because you forgot that some people worked and didn't get paid. That's right. That's right. Some people worked and the company went out of business. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Some people worked and they checked bounce. Yeah. That's right. mm -hmm. Some people worked and their boss was a scam. Mm -hmm. Not you. Not you. You worked and your check cashed. Amen. You got direct deposit. Yes. You got it early on check. Yes. <laughs> that's how good God is. Yeah. He gave you your check before payday. Yeah. That's right. yeah. Right? And then you so selfish. <laughs> you telling the supplier mm -hmm. that you can't give the supplier something. 10%. The supplier gave you a dollar. Ten dollars. He gave you ten dollars. And you so selfish. You can't give him one. You know why we can't give him one? Because we have to pay our bills. <laughs> With our one dollar. Mm -hmm. uh, we're worried about the lack. Yeah. Yeah. Because we might run out. Yeah. We might not have enough. Mm -hmm. See, how, hear our testimony? Mm -hmm. Our testimony is our supplier is insufficient. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. I have a question. Good. Yes. Um, I'm listening to what you're saying. Thank you. I, I heard So the question on the floor is that someone gave some incorrect doctrine and said that uh, if you can't pay your bills, you shouldn't pay your tithe. Mm -hmm. I understand the logic of what they're saying, but it's incorrect. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's incorrect about it is, number one, who supplied the, the bills? Mm -hmm. Who supplies your needs? God does. Who pays your bills? God does. Oh. So if God gives you money mm -hmm. to pay your bills mm -hmm. and the covenant that you have with him is mm -hmm. when you get it, give me the first 10%. Free, 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 free. And yeah. if you give me the first 10%, mm -hmm. I will open up windows mm -hmm. and pour out more than you're able to receive. Mm -hmm. How do you not have enough? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, Lord. you don't have enough mm -hmm. because you're not giving him the first ten percent, mm -hmm. and you're trying to supply your need mm -hmm. through your own devices. Mm -hmm. Yes, people do that. Yes, that's the mentality they have, and yes, they're actually cursing themselves. Mm -hmm. They're putting themselves in the cursed place because they're touching the accursed thing. Amen. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? They want to make God punish them. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. God did this to me. No, you touched it. God didn't jump on Achan. Achan was the one that ran and hid the stuff under his tent. Yes. God said, leave the stuff alone. <laughs> Achan went and got the stuff and, and killed it. That was his fault. Mm -hmm. That wasn't God's fault. That's right. He created the dynamic that put them in that place. Right. So a lot of people are living out of a place of lack. I wish I had some tithe payers in here that could testify and say how God because I have been faithful in my tithing, how God make a way. Oh yeah. How, how God, how God send a check in the mail. Right. How God will cancel a debt. Yeah, no. how, how God will forgive it and, and delete the whole file. And, yeah. and all. I, I got a check, yeah. just a, a random check in the mail. It was like, here, here's a check. That don't matter. Twenty dollars. That's all right. That's my gas. Yeah. My God shall yeah. supply gas according to yeah. His yeah. glory. Right. That, that'll buy my, right. my, my McDonald's when I get. You know what I'm trying to say? He knows how to do it if I trust Him. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is, is that I'm asking myself to be God, mm -hmm. and I don't have a, access to enough resources oh, boy, that's right. to supply any of my needs. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Watch this test. Supply your next breath. Mm -hmm. Can't do it. Right. <laughs> Can't do it. You see what I'm trying yes. to say? Yes. Make your heart beat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Ask the person that's on the pacemaker that wants their heart to beat right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it can't do it. Tell them, tell them, make it, make it beat. Mm -hmm. Ask the person on the respirator mm -hmm. that wants to breathe. Mm -hmm. Tell them, make your lungs work. Mm -hmm. can't do it. The same way you can't make the heart beat and you can't make the lungs work, you can't make none of this stuff work. Amen. God is your supply. Yes. God, watch this. God makes sinners' heart beat. Yeah, yeah. Amen. 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 Yes, he does. He don't just make the heart beat of the people that live right. That's right. He makes smokers' lungs work. Mm. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Don't you do it? Yes, yes, he yes, he will. All the done. As soon as you took that first puff, your lungs should have just shut down. Yeah. They don't. Yeah. 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 But God. Because it wasn't about how good you were. No, that's right. Mm -hmm. Should you be obedient? Yes. Yes. Should you stop smoking? Yes. Yes. But it ain't, it ain't because you did it all right. No. Mm -hmm. Some of us, we get to the hospital and find out that we were sick unto death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, the folks right. in the hospital, I, I, I went, when I was in the hospital, my blood pressure was high. The folks were trying to catch me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking at them like, what's wrong with you people? They were like, are you all right? Are you feeling okay? Do you feel lightheaded? No. Do you feel dizzy? No. Can you stand up? Let us get you a wheelchair. I come off. That's okay. We're going to get you a wheelchair. Because mm. they were looking at my condition. And I was looking at my supply. You're okay. <laughs> my help wasn't coming from the blood pressure medicine. The, my help wasn't coming from the wheelchair, my help Amen. came from the Lord. Amen. My crazy tail and drove down there, yeah. walking around in the hospital. I just happened, watch this, I just happened to be checking. My, you were there? You were there? Remember? I, I was just checking my blood pressure. Wow. I said, man, your blood pressure is high. <laughs> is it? I was there with my baby, finna have a baby. <laughs> I'm just here for the delivery. They was like, we think maybe you should go around to the emergency room. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm in the hospital. Mm -hmm. I'm at the hospital, but I wasn't in the hospital. Yeah, right. Right. God, God was the one that was keeping me. Yeah. And God was keeping some of you. Yes, yes. yes. You, pro you probably got some conditions that you don't even know you got. Amen. Hallelujah. But God is keeping you. Yes, amen. When it, when it manifests, when it shows up on the test, mm -hmm. then you get nervous. Amen. That's right. Mm. Yeah. You know why you got nervous? Because you ate that fruit of knowledge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, right. The knowledge right. tree is messing you up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you hadn't ate out of that tree, you wouldn't even know that you were sick. Mm. Right. You wouldn't even know that you was naked. Right. It's knowledge that's got you messed up. Yeah. Some people, some people get cancer, and, and when they get cancer, they
They, they, they say, oh, Lord, and they start making film arrangements. Oh, yeah. You know, and they call their children, I'm dying tomorrow. Come get me. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. I'm going to miss y'all. I want to wear pink. You know what I mean? They already, you know, yeah, right. they already right. have. Then some people like this woman over here get cancer and, and, and get mad at it. You know, what do you mean cancer? No, I ain't got no cancer. Go on and give me the medicine. That's fine. I'm over it. You know, just get cancer on, on the cycle. You know, yeah. so if you got cancer again, now it's over on this side, fine. Move it on that side too. That's how you do it. You know, yes. I had a loved one that was diagnosed with stage four cancer. You know what stage four means? It's moving all over your body and it's, it's, it's whooping you. Right. And diagnosed with stage four cancer. Mm -hmm. Oh God, that's me. Oh God, they still around here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, doing fine. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm consumed with the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now fear is coming in. Right. Now yes. doubt is coming in. Yes. I'm the one. I'm the one that's believing it. And sometimes the person believes it. Mm -hmm. They don't believe they're healed. Mm -hmm. that's it. They don't believe my God shall supply heal. Oh, oh, right. yeah. You say that doctor. That doctor went in there and told you. Now look, when you come out this surgery, you probably ain't gonna walk. Mm. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> she dances. Not walk, but can run. She dances. <laughs> climb hills. Right. Chop weeds. <laughs> plant gardens. Yeah. yeah. But the doctor said you probably ain't gonna be able to walk after this. Right. I just want to set your expectations. <laughs> ain't that the devil? That's the devil. Yeah. And the devil trying to set your expectations. Yeah. He's trying to prepare you to not walk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then she crazy enough. She said, I'm going to walk out of here. Yeah. And then. And then. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, you see where I'm coming from? Yes. Because we have to believe in the supplier. Amen. Yes. Now, let's, let's go a little deeper. Can I? Mm -hmm. Sometimes we get in relationships and our relationships have strains. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. A lot of times the strain on the relationship is the person not meeting your expectations. Mm -hmm. okay. Amen. It's the, it's the person not supplying a need. Whatever that need is. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Maybe that person is supposed to bring home the bacon All and right. fry it up in the pan. Mm -hmm. and, they, and they keep eating the bacon. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Or, they, or they smoke the bacon. You see what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. and, then, and then what you say, what you say is, God, I can't have this person because they keep messing up the bacon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Just seeing if anybody was going to talk after that part. Mm -hmm. But maybe, maybe God is doing something in that person. Mm -hmm. And until then, he'll supply you with bacon. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe it ain't got nothing to do with them. Maybe bacon come from the Lord. Mm -hmm. The Lord who made heaven mm -hmm. and earth. Yeah. Okay. He won't suffer your foot to be moved. That's right. Thank you. He won't slumber or sleep. That's right. Huh? Right. She's singing the song. She's singing the song. Yeah, she, that's she's going to be all right. That ain't we, we have to, we have to, it, it's, a, it's a high level of trust, isn't it? Yes. Maybe maybe the person doesn't supply an emotional need. Mm. I, I done finally came to church and got me a Leroy. And he don't even hug me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm saying it because it happens. Yeah. How you know, Pastor? Because y'all tell me. Yeah. Right? right. I, I fried the bacon in, in the pan, and, but 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 that whole never let me forget thing don't happen. <laughs> I'm not satisfied. Mm -hmm. Maybe satisfaction don't come from Leroy. Amen. 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 Amen.
Mm. <laughs> yeah, Carefully. Yeah, gotta be careful. <laughs> I've got a friend who had a desire to be satisfied. Okay. Okay. Together. Okay. <laughs> and and she uh, preferred a lot of satisfaction. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As I, I've known this friend for most of my life, you know, and I know, you know, her testimony of, boy, I really like to be satisfied. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and and then what she did is got married. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she could be satisfied to a guy in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. <laughs> 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 that was it. He didn't. They wasn't like married twenty years, and then he had an accident and was in the wheelchair. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He was already in the wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Oh Jesus! Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, where are the satisfactions? <laughs> Why y'all act like I'm the only one that's hurt? Oh, 
listen. You see what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. I, I, I need him to come home tonight and supply all of my needs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then when I'm left wanting, then I go find it somewhere else. Men too. Mm-hmm. Men too. Some some of the men, some of the men that you find that are cheating in your relationship. Mm-hmm. Okay, first let me not be presumptive. Anybody ever had a man cheat in your relationships? Mm-hmm. Anybody? Okay, good. So <laughs> sometimes you find that the men that are cheating in your relationship, that they're, they're not cheating for sex. Mm-hmm. It ain't have nothing to do with the physical. Mm-hmm. Ain't that amazing? Yeah, sometimes you're having cry, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really interesting. Like, you could be in a church full of people and nobody say amen. <laughs> I, think, I just think that's amazing when that happens. <laughs> and especially when they say, mm. <laughs> they don't say amen, but they just say, mm. That means you ain't preaching right now. You're not preaching yet. <laughs> But, but but you can experience that. But the need, the unmet need, the un, and we're going to talk about some of these things. The unmet need had nothing to do with sex. Mm. The unmet need might have been attention. It might be how you talk to them. Mm. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. You might you might talk to him like he's a raggedy dog mm. in the street, and then say, "Now come in here and satisfy me." Mm. Oh, you see what I'm trying to say? And, and, and no wonder he's not stimulated by you. Right. It's, not, it's not your body that didn't turn him on. Right. It was your language. Right. It was how you treated him. Get your own shoes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not, honey, here's your slippers. No, get your own shoes. Right. Amen. <laughs> then the girl down the street say, your feet look like it hurt. Let me take your shoes off yeah. and rub them for you. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't even care that they stink. Right. I'm going to wash them with my tears and <laughs> dry them with my hair. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. And, then, and then you want them to come home to you. Right. Right. Mm. Well, well, well. He got an unmet need. Mm. You better hope his God supply. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, hold on, right? The man, the man that comes home still is coming home because his sufficiency is in God. Well, yeah. Even though you talk to him like trash. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. You better hope that he's dependent on the Lord. Yeah, if if, if the check make it home to you, mm-hmm. <laughs> hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. It didn't get stuck at the cleanup woman house. Yeah. Okay. See? Because his need is being met somewhere. Mm-hmm. Something is feeding him. Something is satisfying him. Mm-hmm. So you know how y'all talk in the, in the girl meetings? Y'all let us come to? <laughs> you know how y'all talk and say, when y'all say, I know I don't be treating her right. Mm-hmm. Shout. 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 Shout right then. Shout and, and give him glory because you know you ain't treating him right. Mm-hmm. And he still come home. Without her. You see what I'm saying? That that's what we that's when we're recognizing who's supplying the need. Amen. Amen. So you have a lot of unmet needs. We're gonna dig into this. But this is just this is just number one of, of a series. So y'all still come back. I'm I'm not gonna be this mean. All right. This is just Breaking us in so we can be like, yeah, I got to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay? But 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 where and how God supplies our needs mm-hmm. or where there is an unmet need. Mm-hmm. Your homework is, your homework is to uh, journal. If you don't have a book, how many of y'all got a cell phone? Okay. On the cell phone, Type in your phone number and text yourself. That way you don't have to try to keep because I ain't going to keep up with the book. Right? But when you feel an unmet need of any kind, just jot it down. 
If you got if you got a book and you write it, that's fine. If you don't, text it to yourself so that you can keep track of it. And, and we're not asking you to fix it. We're not asking you to even discuss it. You may not even discuss it in class. I want you to be aware of it. I want a hug and I'm not feeling hugged. You know what I'm trying to say? I, I need physical touch and I'm not being touched. That's okay. I just mm -hmm. put that down. No judgment. I need satisfaction. And I'm not receiving satisfaction. Married or not married. Yeah. Whatever it is, I want you to I want you to look at what they are. Okay? And just write them down. All right? Mm-hmm. It, and you might have some already on your mind. Yeah, I got these needs and this. Write them down. Okay. And and at a point we'll we'll do some stuff with them. But for now, I just want you to write them down. And keep them. Don't just put on some scratch paper and post it note and throw it away. Uh, keep them. And that's why I say you can text yourself so you'll always have it. All right? All right. All right. Look, God really is faithful. Yes, he, is. He, he does supply all of our needs. He yes, even he cares about a lot of things that we don't even think that he cares about. That's right, man. But it's, it, our relationship with him sometimes is in such an unhealthy place. It's in such a place of unbalance that we don't realize where he wants to be in our lives. He wants to be our satisfaction. Amen. He wants to be our comforter. He wants to bring home the bacon. Mm -hmm. he, he wants to open doors for you. He wants to give you good success. Mm -hmm. He wants to and will do all of those things. And if he's not, it's probably a why mm -hmm. that's in there that we need to discuss. Mm -hmm. So in your prayer, seek the Lord. Ask the Lord to help you to understand where the shortfalls are in your relationship. Mm -hmm. He wants to meet you right there. Right. And he will. That's my prayer for you. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Come on, give God a hand of praise.